To keep yourself updated, subscribe to Indigo Learn and click the bell icon and download our app OneFin to start learning on the go. Now since you understood the provisions of taxation of dividend, that is there is no more such thing called as dividend distribution tax. Let me put in front of you one very, very, very common scenario and you will understand what is the implication. Now you must have heard about chain holdings. Let us say there is a company A Limited. Now this company has made an investment into B Limited. Okay. Now B Limited, let us say declares a dividend. Now earlier what used to happen prior to Finance Act 2020, B Limited when declaring a dividend will pay dividend distribution tax that will be included into the income of the so called A Limited and then they have certain deduction then if they declare it now put all this aside I am asking you today's scenario after the amendment by Finance Act 2020 one thing we've understood is there is no such thing called as dividend distribution tax by a domestic company. Okay, so this B Limited, when it declares dividend, it is declaring and the dividend is being received by A Limited. Now, what I am going to ask you is very simple. Should A Limited pay tax? Should A Limited pay tax? And the immediate answer that comes to your mind is yes. The dividend declared by B Limited, which is included into the total income of A Limited, will be subject to tax. Are you crystal clear with this? Yes, very good. Now I am going to tell you further. Now let us say this A Limited is also declaring dividend to its ultimate shareholders. Now I am going to ask you one more question. A Limited, there is no dividend distribution tax, declares dividend. Achha. The ultimate shareholders who actually receive the dividend, will they be liable to tax? The immediate answer that you have is yes, they will also be liable to tax. Now don't you think there is a double taxation that is happening? Because the dividend declared by A Limited includes the dividend that it received from B Limited. Now to ensure that there is no double taxation, ATM, a section that was there prior to 2004, which was then deleted because of the introduction of dividend distribution tax provisions of 150 no has now been reintroduced. So ATM is actually a very old section. Now it has been reintroduced. Why? Because we are back to the original method. What is the original method? Dividend is taxed in the hands of the recipient. Achha. Now because of this ATM, let's understand what's happening. First of all, why is ATM introduced? What ATM very simply says, is that when A Limited receives a dividend and the same dividend which is included in the total income is again distributed by A Limited to its ultimate shareholders to the tune of distribution to the tune of distribution which has been made on or before a due date. Now don't mistake when I say due date as due date under 139.1 Due date for the purpose of ATM is one month prior to the due date under 139.1. So if such A Limited distributes the dividend on or before the due date as per section ATM, then so much of the amount distributed will be allowed as a deduction from the total income of the company A Limited under section ATM. Simple. Let me give you one small example. Let us say B Limited distributed 10 lakhs as dividend. Now let us say in B Limited, A Limited holds 20%. So out of that 10 lakhs, how much do you think A Limited would have received? 20% of the entire dividend, 2 lakhs. So A Limited received how much? 2 lakhs. Achha, what amount of these 2 lakhs will be included in the total income of A Limited? Obviously, the entire 2 lakhs will be included. Of course, if A Limited is having certain collection expenses or interest that will be deducted, but for other reasons, let us say the entire 2 lakhs is included into the total income and now the gross total income of A Limited includes 2 lakhs which has been received from B Limited. 
Now listen to me carefully what's going to happen. If A limited, if A limited distributes dividend, let us say A limited has distributed dividend, let us say after the financial year is over on let us say 31st July, 31st July it has distributed dividend. Now let me tell you 31st July is on or before the due date under ATM. What is due date under ATM? We'll see later. It has distributed dividend. Let us say they have distributed one and a half lakhs. Achha. Now think this one and a half lakhs that A limited is distributed when it reaches the ultimate shareholders. Are they going to pay tax on that one and a half lakh? Yes. So what does ATM say? ATM says this one and a half lakhs which has been distributed by A limited will be taken as a deduction under ATM. Now remember it has not distributed that 50,000 and therefore 50,000 will be taxed in the hands of A limited. Let me read section ATM and sure shot this section is going to be tested in your exams. Okay let's let's read ATM very important section. ATM subsection 1 where the gross total income of a domestic company in any previous year includes any income by way of dividends from any other domestic company or a foreign company or a business trust. Kya baat hai? From whom? Either from a domestic company or from a foreign company or from a business trust. Now I will call these three entities as specified entities. If it receives from any other entity, remember this section is not applicable. If it receives from a cooperative society, no, no, all these sections are not applicable. Whom does it receive from? From a domestic company or a foreign company or a business trust. There shall in accordance with and subject to the provisions of this section be allowed in computing the total income of such domestic company and deduction of an amount equal to so much of the amount of income by way of dividends received by such domestic company or foreign company or business trust as does not exceed the amount of dividend distributed by it on or before the due date. So how much dividend did it receive A limited? It received 2 lakhs. But how much did it distribute? It distributed only 1 lakh 50 thousand. So what is the deduction under ATM? Lower of the 2. Just for example I am saying lower of the 2. Why? Because deduction is restricted to the amount received which has been included in total income subject to maximum of amount distributed. So they have distributed only 1,50,000 that is the deduction under ATM. Now one thing, it's saying that amount should have been distributed on or before the due date. And remember due date has been clearly defined in this section. What is it? In the explanation you will see for the purposes of this section the expression due date means the date one month prior to the date for furnishing the return of income under section 139 subsection 1. So let us say A limited the due date is end of October. One month before that that means on or before 30th September whatever amount has been distributed only that amount is eligible for deduction. Are we clear? Only that amount is eligible for deduction under ATM. Now this is what the section is, looks very simple. But I am also going to give some complicated scenarios. Now what if B limited distributed dividend, A limited received 2 lakhs, but A limited spent, A limited spent, let us say 20,000 towards collection charges. Now first of all, is collection charges deductible? Yes. You have learnt since now dividend is taxable, any expenditure which has been incurred in order to earn such income is deductible. So what is the amount of dividend that would have been included into the total income? It would have only been 180,000. Now out of that 180,000 if they have distributed 150,000 how much is the deduction under ATM? 150,000. Suppose they have distributed 180,000. Then how much is the deduction? 1,80,000. Suppose they have distributed 2 lakhs. Now you might ask, how can they distribute? Baba, this is only part of their income. A limited will be having other income, no? Other income apart from dividend income. So they could be having a profit much higher than this so-called 2 lakhs figure. Let us say they have distributed dividend to the tune of 5 lakhs. How much is the deduction under ATM? Deduction is restricted to 
only that part of the dividend which has been included into total income which is only 1,80,000. I agree they have received a 2 lakhs dividend but because how much was included, what, what was the amount which was included into total income? 2 lakhs minus 20,000, 1 lakh 80,000. So deduction will also be restricted to 1 lakh 80,000. Are we crystal clear? Another scenario. Now, you must be wondering, all this is not given in the section. I told you, this section was there prior to 2004 also. Now, there were CBDT circulars. There were many case laws on this section. I am just trying to ease out those case laws and tell you the concept. Because you should not have any confusion. This is a tried, tested, proved section. Okay, one more scenario I'll put in front of you. Now, let us say this A Limited has dividend income to the tune of 2 lakhs. And it has other loss. It has other losses. Let's say 1 lakh. It has other losses, 1 lakh. Therefore, what is the gross total income? Only 1 lakh. 2 lakhs dividend income. Other losses, let's say business loss or some other loss. 1 lakh and therefore gross total income is only 1 lakh and let us say they have distributed 1 lakh 50 thousand dividend now don't ask me as per companies act if this is allowed I am telling you it is allowed because they could have had accumulated profits okay so don't think about how can they distribute 1 lakh 50 thousand when the gross total income is only 1 lakh don't worry about it they have distributed 1 lakh 50 thousand my question to you is very simple what is the deduction under ATM because ATM says what? ATM says the deduction is the amount of income included in total income subject to the amount distributed. And here is what you need to know. The deduction is always restricted to the total income. Because what is the total income? I said total income is 1 lakh. Of course, dividend income was 2 lakhs. Total income is only 1 lakh. So how much of the total income includes dividend? And total income itself is 1 lakh. Then dividend income cannot be more than 1 lakh. Therefore, the deduction also is restricted to 1 lakh. Although 1 lakh 50,000 was distributed. I hope this section is crystal clear. I am reading it again. It says, where the gross total income of a domestic company. Therefore, remember, ATM is applicable only for domestic company. Okay. And it should have received the dividend from any of the specified entities. What has specified either domestic company or from a foreign company or from a business trust. Are we crystal clear with this section? Sure. Now before I go to the next part, there is one small subsection 2 also. What does subsection 2 say? Where any deduction in respect of the amount of dividend distributed by the domestic company has been allowed under subsection 1 in any previous year no deduction shall be allowed in respect of such amount in any other previous year so the amount of income distributed you can take it as a deduction only once you cannot take multiple times the same deduction that's common sense we may say that's all